Hi, this is B&J from Sorcery Soap. Hi. Hi. And today we're going to do a Midwestern Fragrance Oil Company review. And I can't even, and I can't even, we just moved. So we've been in the process of getting our act together and, you know, settling in and all that. However, um, I can't wait to use some of these fragrances. I've already, I've already smelled them. But I forget, you know, and you can't remember every single one. And I'll put a picture in the one um, that that I've used that I love. Well, besides Sherlock Study, which is an amazing fragrance oil. Cut grass. The cut grass is so amazing. Is it in here? Yeah, it's in here. And I, I made a soap with it. So, oh, okay. Anyway, we'll, I'll put a list of everything that we're in the description of that we're using so that in case you want to try them. So I haven't tested a ton of these, but I have tested a couple of them. The cut grass behaves beautifully. French uh, bourbon reserve behaves beautifully. And only... You made a soap out of that? Yeah, I did. It's made samples out of that. So, because I want everybody to smell it. I don't even think I've smelled it yet. Okay, good. So anyway, this is Wild Sage. And I made a soap out of this, do you remember? It's the green one. This is And yep, it's the bunny. The the one with the bunnies on it. And the and the candy corn. That's really nice. I know. I I So you do you, you when you smell these you think of different themes for soaps, right? Um, yeah, kind of, sometimes. Because I'm thinking about how could I apply that to a lotion. You should. Okay, so there's no vanilla in this. It behaved perfectly. Let me see which one is it over there. See the one with the bird up there on the, on the right? Yeah. Yeah, it behaved perfectly. Mm -hmm. The thing that I like about it, okay, so when I smell fresh sage, it... Like, that's the best part. Like, that's the romantic version of fresh sage, if you ask me. That's really nice. It is super nice. Yes. Now, okay. This is called white tea. White tea. And I wouldn't think... I wouldn't think it would smell like that. It smells like tea. It smells like... But not like a hefty black tea, but a lovely light tea. Yeah, exactly. Probably why it's called white tea versus black tea. And it's so lovely. So nice. I know. I want to mix it with something. I think that would be. I would use it by itself for sure. But I want to mix it with something, to make different, like chamomile tea or you know something like that. And that is nice. zero vanilla in as well, which makes me really happy. Here's the fresh cut grass. Nothing. Oh, probably styrofoam. That's really nice. Oh, I just, wow. I know. I have purchased fresh cut grass from a ton of suppliers this is my absolute favorite and the fact that it behaves in cold process makes me super happy like i can't even there's zero vanilla in it i can't even use it enough i want to like that I want, is nice and and it doesn't smell like traditional fresh cut grass right like this like a single note you go oh yeah it smells like grass right it's a good lotion That'd be great lotion. Yeah. Okay. That's, wow. Here's another one. Um, this is called Black Current Absinthe. Now I've purchased absinthe from places in the past. A long time ago, I bought an absinthe. I can't even imagine what that smell of absinthe. It's a bit licorice. Absinthe is a and absinthe. There is an old, well, Toulouse Lautrec and Hemingway and um, other writers used to spend time in Parisian cafes, and supposedly the the story is that they drink absinthe. And absinthe is it's a green. It gets its green hue, and this was at a time where they actually put um, different types of fluorescence into things because it that was like the fashion that things fluoresced. Right until they figured out that some of it was toxic. Um, but absinthe is this sort of luminescent green liquid. It's a, like a sort of a liqueur, liqueur kind of. I could be getting that wrong, but here's what I remember from it. You take it, 
and there's a particular um, device that you set up so that you it's put like a drip device, right? Yeah, and then you drip it over and uh, you put it on a, a, a sugar cube and you drip it over slowly over the sugar cube so that it dissolves the sugar cube in your to make your cocktail. And they and it's like in little you drink it in little sherry glasses, sort of. And the thing that distinguishes absinthe is they used wormwood. That would cause people to hallucinate, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, a slightly. little slightly hallucinate. Wormwood is toxic. It's a poison taken in the right doses, right? It'll give you some hallucination. So everybody says, "Oh, that has real ab- that absinthe has real wormwood in it." They might wave wormwood over the top, but they really that now not compared to when Hemingway and and all those famous people were in the cafes drinking absinthe. Nah. It's not like that anymore. It's sort of like saying, oh yeah, there's you know stimulant in Coca-Cola. They used to put actual cocaine in Coca-Cola. So that's what, the little bit that I know about it. Well. So absinthe has black currant. You know what black currant smells like, right? It's like, um, and... So as you speak about it... And licorice. Um, my scent is changing. Okay. Like I didn't know black currant. I, I mean, this is a totally foreign smell to me. Scent. It's a totally foreign scent to me, and so when I smell it, I'm like, I have no, I no reference point for this. Let me have the cap, please. All I know is it. It, it this, doesn't. This is so nice. It is really, really nice, and it behaves perfectly in soap. I made it up. I'll put a soap picture in. Wow. And I used. So that's going to be definitely a lotion. That yeah. smells so good. I can imagine once you, you know yes. the, yes, 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 the yes. formula and it starts getting into your skin chemistry, it's going to really smell good. I would love this in a candle. Yeah. Okay, so candle makers out there, if you let me know that you make candles, we would like a candle made with this. Yeah, black currant absinthe would be a great candle. And it's only 0.54 vanilla in there, so I made it and I... I colored part of the um, batch, and I this I didn't color part of the batch, and it only turned to a light tan, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Wow, that's nice. It really is. It's nice. exotic, nice. Yeah. So here's after that dark amber rosewood. So you know what rosewood smells like, right? Kind of. Oh, that is so lovely. Wow, that's a great combination. Yep. What's it? What's the vanilla in there? I don't know. I can't see it. Uh, point zero five, so not that much. Oh, that is so wonderful. Again, another lotion and or candle. We should work. That's so great. I know. We should That's work so with great. some candle makers because this is just, I love, you know, I mean, I the candles we have are just, they're okay. They sm- make That's the house. Robot. Well, they make, yeah, they make the house smell lovely, but those are really beautiful fragrances. Okay, so this one's honeydew and coconut cream. And the Mm, one, it has 4.76% vanilla in it, so so it will discolor. Putting that image of honeydew and coconut cream, Mm -hmm. creamy melon type thing. Wow. I know, I always want like a fruit fragrance like you know to balance out what we offer see that would be my that and the the black currant absinthe would be my favorite for a candle Mm -hmm. that is so good right here i know midwestern fragrance oil it's a relatively new company and it started on the fragrance oil portion apparently started because of a candle company that they had, and they've just blown the doors off of themselves. I mean, they're just doing so well. They got a new building, and they're lovely, and, you know, Ken and Doug, I've talked to them a couple times, and they're young and honorable, and they have integrity, and they have work ethic like nobody's business, and I am so happy to be supporting them and everything I can do, anything I can do to support them. I want them to have crazy success. So yeah, I, you know, maybe that's what we need to do. Cause so here's my idea. And you know, I know we talked about this a bit. 
But instead of me making larger bars of soap, you know how I like making soap, obviously, and I'll continue to do that. But I want to start splitting my batches, use the rest of that to make one ounce samples so that if people want to purchase this in soap, they get that. You can see how it... Anyway, um, but that way you could purchase because I know, you know, we've had a little bit of, when we run out of samples, we get a little bit of flack. So, because we offer, and I have for years, put soap, free soap samples in every order that goes out of Sorcery Soap. And occasionally, occasionally, probably happened three times since we've been doing this, I've run out of soap samples. And so now, if we do run out of the free soap samples, you can purchase them, hopefully. I want to have a supply of them in a variety of scents. Yes. So, that's... Let's do this. Especially that honeydew coconut cream. Wow. Okay, so this is frosted sugar plum. I use this already. Now, it is frosted, like frosted sugar plum. I'm just putting that image in my mind. That blue one up there. The up the upper. The yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, so it behaved well. And it has 0.85 vanillin. That's... So far, all these flavor, ah. these scents are just hitting it out of the park. This I is know. so good. It is so lovely, and I wanted, I used this for um, pumpkins, and what else is on top of there? I can't really see. Oh, and candy corns, like pastel candy corns that I used for our ice cream soap dough collection. Doesn't that make sense now? So it's like sweet melon in a sense, right? Or a plum. Well, it says plum. I can't even. In my head, I don't know what a plum smells like. I know, same. But it's sweet fruit. That is so nice. It really is. I want a candle in that too. <laughs> Can we just have candles in every one of I these? I know, right? Okay, and so here's one that everybody online, well, in the group, have been raving about. It's called Pike's Peak, and it's 3.20. Uh, vanillin in here for soap makers which doesn't mean that much to candle makers I don't think but maybe it does is that rosemary you smell in there maybe a bit it's like a look at you being better kind of rosemary it's rosemary ish with oh man I have no idea but that is so good I know it Pike's Peak. That just smells so lovely. There's a little bit of leather in there. I'm just trying to, when I smell it, see what kind of images pop in my head. Yeah, well, I'm thinking about our friends. Run in France. 100 mile run in France. Because he's hiked Pike's Peak, I think. Wow, that's so good. I know. That is so good. That's I wanna... like a mystery scent, though. I have, I can't even place it anywhere, but that is really nice. I'd really like a lotion with this. For you. Yeah. Okay, so now we have Oceanside Air, and this has zero vanillin in it. I haven't used it yet, but Ocean Sense, anything with ozone generally accelerates in cold process. Oh, my gosh. I love Ocean Sense, by the way. That is really fresh and lovely. Oh, what is that? At this... Ozone. Uh, there's a freesia scent in there, a little bit of jasmine, a touch of floral, but not overtly. Mm. I smell like fresh, scented waves. Yeah. But there's something else on there. There's something lingering in the background. Well, like I said, there's florals in the background. Ocean scents always have florals in them, but and the ozone is quite lovely. But there's something else like wow. indis indis that indistinct. Is so good. That is so good. It really is. It's quite nice. I can't even. Don't let go. Okay. Okay. So wow, this is so the good. only one I have an issue with the name, which I would rename this a hundred times over, because <laughs> I do not. But it's a type. So it says bum bum type, which is that bum bum is that what is that reference to? Well, in um, bum bum type. 
I think that there's like, well, there's a fragrance oil called Monkey Farts, which I would never use just because I can't take the name of it. I know. I would never, I don't care how good it is, I would never use this it. This isn't referencing that, is it? I don't know, but that's the first thing that came to my mind. So it would be coconut, it would be sort of tropical. This is very tropical. Yeah, I would think, so it says bum bum type, but I would think that this is sort of like Hawaiian Tropic type, more so. Do you remember Hawaiian Tropic when we were kids? It's not it's as not strong. Yeah. This isn't as coconutty. Right. But it's a reference point for people our age. It's not as coconutty. It has a something else in there, like a cherry or a. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Cherry, mm -hmm. cherry. I don't know if it is cherry, but it. It's, it's it seems. It seems like right, doesn't it, it? Like it's a secondary scent that comes in. Yep, coconut and cherry and maybe um, like mango maybe or something else, like a little bit of citrus. Orange or something. It's it definitely. Reminds me of being at the pool. With, yep. With suntan lotion but not like in your face coconut right right where i would like that in a soap it's like a beach not really at a pool beach because like a no tropical point. fruit yeah mixture what's I, that flower that's pointy and it's uh hurt? it's got multicolored flower the one from arizona it's like a tropical flower, something birds of paradise. Yes, like birds that. of paradise. That's it. I don't remember. Isn't what that it what that? That's kind of. I don't remember what it smells like, but that's from Arizona. For okay. some reason, that's popping into my head. Huh. Interesting. I'll look it up. Yeah. Okay. So here's Barbershop, and this one has zero vanillin, which is really beneficial. I think I've smelled this one before. Yep. Oh my gosh. Ooh, I just yeah. love it so much. When um, one of our friends smelled this, do you remember? She knew right away. She goes, that smells like a man's something or other, like cologne or a man scent. And I go, yeah, it's called Barbershop. But it's so lovely. It's really fresh and clean. I would like this as a candle in your bathroom. It's like scented. After shave. Shaving cream or something like that. Like yeah. After shave. Yeah. That's nice. I really like that. Me too. I mean, there isn't anything I don't wow. like about any of this. They're so complex. I really think you could get like five fragrance oils and build your whole soap line or candle line from five basic fragrance oils from what they have. And then even do, because they have a blending sheet. Oh, do they? Yeah. And I blended Leaves and Sherlock gosh it behaved beautifully and smells amazing i can't even i can't absolutely Ooh, even what is that cherry lemonade wow twist. that is so good oh that it's is... almost like there's effervescence in your nose isn't there yeah that's beautiful that is a perfect combination right it's there. so soda like and so cherry lemonade twist. I want to drink this. That's such wow. a good lemon scent, or summer wow. scent, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, gosh. That is so good. I can't even. It's so beautiful. So, if I had to make one lotion out of all that, I wouldn't even know where to start. Okay, well, it depends. Okay, so this French bourbon reserve I've made. See, there's a little bit out of it. I made we're gonna move on. No vanilla and French bourbon reserve. This, I'm looking I'll forward to that. I know, I know exactly what it reminds me of. Bro, I could smell the rosewood oh, in there. Oh man, that is. It's so yummy. It's so lovely. And it's got that scent of bourbon. You know how it's got it cleans, but it's evaporative. The best part of it too, right? Because whenever we have whiskey or any kind of like we romanticize it and we taste it and we're like yeah we're not we're not whiskey or bourbon drinkers at all but this is the best part of it so you know what this reminds me of interview with a vampire it, well i don't know if it's because i was listening to the book or because i i don't know the word french bourbon i, I don't know but that's what it reminds me of that is so good i know I want to make a soap with French bourbon reserve with bats all over it. And I'll make an accompanying lotion to go with it. That'd be a good 
yeah. combo pack, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's so good. It's so, They're so lovely. So, okay, we do our best to explain and to let you see how we respond to every one of these fragrance oils. And then I try to, you know, make soaps and we make lotions with them. You can make a lotion out of every single one of those because your lotion recipe is spot on, first of all. But there's, they will just be supportive. There isn't any chemical smell in any of these. None at all. These and are just so complex too. I know it. And they are elevated beyond fragrances I've used. I've been doing this a long time. I've bought a lot of fragrance oils and they are so well thought through. I mean, truly, I can't, if all the other companies went out of business and this Midwestern fragrance oil is the only one, I'd be, except for one more, but I would be pretty okay with that because they have some of the best. They have a new autumn line coming out and I haven't even looked because I can't. I just We can't. have so much of this. I love it. I would just, if I could make soap every single day out of every one of these, I would be fine. These are so good. So go take a peek and tell us what you think. And we already did those. I didn't smell that closest one right there. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I know. You can smell it another time. We're running long. So anyway, so tell us what you think. If you've used any of these or um, what your favorite one is. And if you're a candle maker, would you get in contact with us? Because we maybe could support you or at least purchase your candles. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for being patient with us. And hopefully we're going to streamline everything and smooth our rough edges out in this next couple years. If you like so. these review type, these scent reviews, you know, leave a comment and let us know if you like these type of reviews. Right, and hit the like button. So.